We're talking about job characteristics today. So far we've talked about skill variety and task identity. The next thing we'll talk about is task significance. Task significance is the extent to which you find your work meaningful or not. Do you think that your work has a positive impact on the clients or the customers you work with, on your coworkers, um, on your family maybe, on the community that you live in, uh, on society as a whole? Is what you do meaningful and important? That's what we mean by task significance. Uh, oh man, I had this data entry job, uh, a temp job, where all, all I did all day, the, it was one company was suing another company, and there was like some discrepancies in these reports, and so they had these handwritten ledgers with all these numbers on it, and my job was to take those handwritten ledgers and type them into Excel, and that's all I did eight hours a day for, I had this temp job for like two weeks. And um, it was utterly meaningless to me, right? Like the task itself was incredibly meaningless. I didn't feel like I was really producing something meaningful. Um, I had no, I didn't know either companies that were involved in the lawsuit. I didn't know who was right. I didn't care. I literally did not even know what the numbers on the spreadsheet were symbolizing. So it was just an utterly meaningless job. It felt like I was getting paid to waste my time until I died. That would be a job with low task significance. Jobs in healthcare often have really high task significance. So people who work in healthcare, um, you know, are helping people get better and feel healthy. Um, they're helping them feel comfortable. They're supporting families when they're going through one of the hardest times in their life. And so healthcare professionals often get a lot of meaning from their work. And actually, we see this in uh, all the employees that work in the healthcare industry. So janitors that work at a hospital will report higher task significance than janitors that work at, say, I don't know, some nameless corporation. Um, and the reason why is they see, you know, how important sterilization is. They see how important cleanliness is. They see how the work that they do directly contributes to the quality of life and well-being of the people that are in the hospital. Um, so that's what we mean by high task significance. You see the positive impact of your work, the meaning of your work. Ah, surprise, surprise. Being a professor, I find very meaningful. Um, so I find a lot of what I do very meaningful. Um, I, I like the idea, especially with undergraduates, like they're still so young and um, they're still forming as adults and to be able to give them some guidance and some skills and help shape them uh, is incredibly rewarding. And the transformation that I get to see from students when they come in at 18 or 19 years old and then by the time they graduate four years later, that level of transformation is just really inspiring to watch and you know I'm not I don't think that I am totally responsible for that um, but even to be a small part of that to make some contribution into the development um, of a college student is really rewarding for MBAs I feel like a lot of MBA students uh, appreciate you know their practical skills that I uh, that I teach in my courses that they can apply to make their work situation better to help get a promotion um, things like that and I hear feedback from MBA students like hey you really helped me solve this problem at work based on this thing that we talked about in class and those are really meaningful moments for me that's that's what I like most about my work is the idea that what I'm doing has a positive impact on people's lives. So task significance can come from a variety of different sources. Uh, earlier I talked about that data entry job I had that was utterly meaningless. When I was an undergraduate, I volunteered in uh, psychology labs 10 hours a week uh, the entire time I was in college. And I did that because you have to have that volunteer experience, that research lab experience to get into grad school. Now, a lot of the work that I was doing in those labs was just data entry. It was like the exact same thing that I was doing at that job that I found so meaningless. And yet, because I knew that it was connected to this life goal of mine of going to grad school, I found the work meaningful. So even if the task is, is boring or um, I wasn't like curing cancer uh, in those psychology labs, right? But the idea that it was contributing to um, 
helping accomplish my goals, that's task significance as well. So you might not, you might really dislike your job or you might not find your job particularly meaningful, but it might be building your CV or building your resume so that you can pivot to a better job. It might be, uh, you might be making a lot of money that you're able to put into your children's college fund. And so you find that aspect of it really meaningful. So when we talk about task significance, we mean, um, do you see how the work contributes to some greater goal, some, something that's important or meaningful or positive to you? Don't confuse task significance and task identity. People seem to get these ideas confused and I understand why. Um, they're often closely related. So we often get a sense of meaning when we complete a whole piece of work. Um, like if you've ever built Ikea furniture, you know, by the time you're done, you get this sense of like, hey, I made that. And then like you see that people in your family using that furniture and you're like, yes, I get a sense of pride off this piece of Ikea furniture I made. Um, you see the meaning and how it, it improves the function of your household, whatever it is. So there's often a strong connection between task identity and task significance. Uh, but not always. So, for example, you could be working in a factory that makes polio vaccines and you're working on the assembly line and you don't have a lot of task identity. You're just doing one small part um, of making these vaccines and, and you're not building a vaccine from scratch. You're just doing one small part and getting these vaccines out. And so it's very low in task identity. But it's very high in task significance because you believe in the importance of vaccines and the, the medicines that the organization is developing and selling. Um, and so it would be low on task, uh, low on task identity, but high on task significance. Um, so keep those ideas separate. They're very similar, but they're distinct.